everyone. Today is Mike, and yeah, my name is Mike. Today is Mike, my name is Mike. Today we're going to be working on a 97 Honda Civic that I have. I've had this thing since 97. Pretty sweet car, you know. And I've been noticing that she's been a little bit raspy, a little bit dying. A little bit raspy on the throttle is because I have my throttle tuned all the way back there. That throttle. This is your throttle, right here. This is your throttle. This is your mass air, okay. You got your idle air, which is I just replaced, okay. I'm gonna throttle right here, my throttle cable, okay, throttle cable. And I noticed it's been a little bit too raspy, so I need to adjust this piece, at least one screw back, and the screw a little bit forward to make sure it's running right. But I'm having an issue with keeping it in idle. And I do have a theory. I tested my theory so many times, and I know I'm correct. But, I have a big no-no underneath those spark plug wires. The big no-no is the Autolite spark plugs. I'm running NGK wires, as you can see. Those are NGKs, NGK cables, okay. I'm going one cylinder one, cylinder two, cylinder three, and cylinder four. I'm putting anti-seize on the threads of the spark plugs. You're gonna see me do this procedure. <clears throat> really simple to do. I rebuilt this car five times. Rebuilt the motor again, oversized pistons, bearings, rods, the whole nine yards, okay, piston rings, the whole nine. So I'm going to get to work here. I'm going to show you the tools that I'm going to use to make this job go a lot simpler, okay? And changing spark plugs, anyone can do in their garage, anyone. Just grab your boot right here on the side of your boot, okay? Don't grab here because it's going to rip. Just grab the top, pull up toward you, okay? And it'll pop out just like that. As you can tell, they're perfectly fine. There's that spark plug way down there. Okay. I'm going to take off all these wires. And then I'm going to grab my tools. Here's your spark plug two. Remove that. Spark plug three. That. And spark plug four. Cool. And you're wondering why I have these wires laid out right here. Well, it's very simple. If you take them off from the distributor here, and you don't make sure of which order they go, you're gonna have a misfiring problem. It's not gonna fire correctly. It's not gonna fire up. So there's gonna be a problem with it. So now, we're gonna go get our nifty tools, which is I put out right up here. And for the swap, I'm gonna be using NGK Iridiums. NGKs are recommended for Hondas, anything four cylinders, okay? Do not use E3's spark plugs in a Honda Civic. I cannot stress that enough. It does not work right. So I'm gonna put you guys right about here. That we can see what I'm doing. If I can just wiggle it somewhere. There we go, perfect, right there. I'm gonna start with cylinder one. As you can tell I'm going the right direction. My socket is a 5 8 Mine is magnetized, so it will pick up that spark plug rather than using pliers down here. Using pliers down here, you're gonna mess up this wraith that's down here, so you don't wanna do that. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this one. Turn it counterclockwise. Really simple to pull off. I'm gonna do one. Okay, there's one. I'm just gonna get them loose for right now. There's two. Here's number three. And here's number four. Okay, now since I got them all loose, I don't need my ratchet anymore. I can just turn them by hand. If you have arthritis hands or really bad cramping hands like me, then it will, it will hurt your hands, but it makes it so much simpler to do. Rather than ratcheting back and forth, it doesn't work. Okay, that one's already loose, so I'm gonna pull it up. Should have been loose. Now that's loose. Come on, you. Come out of there. There she is. There's an auto light spark plug. Okay. These are going to be kind of warm. See, these are auto lights. Do not use these in a Honda Civic. They're idling and bogging. Okay. They're doing really bad. And I have some anti seize on the threads, so that way they don't stick to the head that's down there. Because I snapped a spark plug before. It was another Autolite that I had down here. It snapped the plug in half. And I couldn't get it out because it snapped it right out the threads at the bottom. So I had to take my car, take my whole head apart, take my whole exhaust off, the intake manifold, the distributor, everything off. And send my head down to the machine shop so I can get machine nap. And it was not pretty, tell you the truth. It cost me over $200 to do. So it was it, it was really bad. I don't recommend you do that. Um, 
if you find it is a little bit too tight or too strong don't risk it if it's your only car do not risk it at all here's a spark plug in three another auto light these are totally fine these spark plugs are totally fine as you can see it's been gapped everything's been working fine barely any soot on it there's no gas no oil or anything so that tells me my oil oil seats in main are correct and not leaking at all okay it's just been running really bad and I'm noticing it just wants to roll over and die my distributor's brand new, so is my cap, my rotor. My rotor's an MSD. Uh, air intake is K&N. Um, I have an Edelbrock. Um, intake manifold. A Skunk 2 fuel rail. It's just I just have a lot of parts underneath the hood of this car. I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. It's the car that I had since my graduation of my high school, which is a really a long time ago since 07. Here's the other one. See, it's barely fine. It's just fine. It's an auto light as well. So these are all fine. And yes, the tips, the tips, you can unscrew these. And those are still tightened on. There's three. And I'm gonna do number four. And number one. And I've been doing this for about 16 years, working on cars, wrenching on cars. And I can say that if you do it yourself, you're saving yourself a lot of money. A job for a tune-up at a shop would be probably about $200 just for them to do the same thing that I'm doing right now. That's how they get their money, that's how they rip people off, because they make sure they do it for them. There's the other one, the other auto light. Clean, straight gorgeous. But they do not work in Honda Civics, okay? So now, I'm gonna get my four radiums. I'm gonna do one at a time, do not rush. There's no rush here, no rush at all. I recommend you pick up some NICs for your threads. This will save you from snapping a spark plug inside your head, okay? This saves you. Don't use too much, a little bit will do. Too much is like overkill, okay? It will burn it up. Your uh, car will burn it up, it's gonna notice it, but it won't be too bad. But, highly recommend, okay? I'm gonna start with one, these NGK Iridiums, okay? I got these at my local auto parts store, I'm not gonna say their name. As you can see, those are a lot different. Okay, then your auto lights. Let's see. The tip on here is totally screwed on, so I'm not worried about that. The gap is correct because they all come pre gapped, but if you want to make sure, get a gap tool gauge and just slide it in between this little pin and this big groove. So that little pin, do not snap that little pin. You need that little pin, okay? So slide it in between that little pin and this groove, okay? So now, get my anti seize right here. Just a little dab on the threads right there, okay? That's all you need. And you don't need to smear it around because once you sit it down, it's going to twist and go in between the grooves. So just let it sit down, okay? Now I'm going to do this for the other three. I'm going to check the cap tip. Always check this because it can unscrew and can screw back on, okay? Check the gap as well and everything's fine, okay? Go through here. Add another one. Okay, there's two. Hondas would be the easiest car to work on um, if you want a basic beginner car. Easiest thing to work on because they make manuals and books for it. Like every car has a book or manual for it. It's really simple to do. Really simple to use. Um, what I use for my book on this car is a Chilton manual. It tells me my torque spec, my ratios, um, everything you need to be bolted onto this car. Um, wires, what wires go where, etc. and so forth. It's really simple. Um, it'll tell you everything that you need to know about the car. So I got all four, and you can see I got a lot more of this left. So I'm gonna save this. But right now I'm gonna go back through here with my 5 8 and my extension, and just hand tighten them for right now. Okay, just hand tight. No use in using a ratchet right now because it's gonna take you a while, okay? Just hand tighten them. You can just feel them getting snug. That's just fine. Okay, just get them snug for right now. Okay, just get them really snug. That's what you got to do. Same procedure. This time you're going clockwise and tightening these. Okay. Okay. Starting on number two. And if you ever have distributor problems on a '97 Honda Civic EX VTEC, okay or anything with the motor of D16Y8 with a single overhead cam, 
your firing order is going to be the same. The same meaning, okay, this is one, okay, this is three, this so goes one, three, and then two is on the bottom of one, I'll show you this over here, and then four. So I just barely got these hand tightened here in a second. Okay, I'll show you. Okay, so firing order is gonna be the same. So here's one, here's two, here's three, and right down here is four, okay? That is four. So four, three, two, one, okay? That's your firing order. If you get this wrong, it's gonna misfire, it's not gonna start, it's gonna run really garbage, and it's not gonna work, okay? So we're going back over here, we're gonna tighten these up, okay? It's really easy to tighten up, really easy, okay? I got them all seated down. Do not go too tight, okay? You'll feel it, I don't know, kind of click when you got it. So when you're going, okay, okay. As you can feel the anti-seas going through there. See how that's getting tight right there? Just go a little bit half turn, right there. And that one's good. So let's do this one now. Two and a half, and then bam, right there. Okay, so this one, one, two, and right there, bam, okay? Now, if you run your car with new spark plugs, okay, like I'm just installing new spark plugs right now. If you go 20 miles, redo the tightening because these will, spark plugs will loosen up, okay? So they will loosen and start to lift and then the next thing you know, one of these is gonna shoot out of your head, okay? So those are tight, okay? Now I'm gonna install these wires back in the correct same order that I pulled them off. This would be one. And I'm kind of an OCD freak, so I like my stuff neat and clean, okay? A major OCD freak. Number two. Okay, number three. And number four. Okay, now I'm gonna fire up this car, if I have my keys on me. If I don't, yep, I have my keys on me, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Make sure they're all seated down. You'll hear it click when you push the boots back on, okay? Make sure the sheet night and pretty, nice and pretty, okay? They've been seated back down. Okay, now I'm gonna go start the car right now. Starting up. Now see, that is a lot better than what those auto lights were doing. The auto lights, they were not running as nice as the NGK. This Honda, I noticed just the little things, just the really little things, make this motor itch, really itch, okay? And she is running fine. So, if there's any more complications or issues that you're having with your Honda or any other car, any other car that you got, leave me a like and a comment, subscribe below, and I'll answer all your questions. Any car you want me to do, just let me know. Thanks for watching. And as always, this is Mike. Have fun. Bye.